Hello everyone, this is Wanyan. In this video, uh, I'm going to do some finite element analysis, especially uh, for meshing uh, and meshing uh, mesh optimization. So first, uh, as you know, the finer mesh gives you more precise results and the converged uh, results. But um, the more mesh, the smaller mesh gives us the, the number of nodes and elements, the more elements and more nodes takes more time. So this is not efficient. So we can use, actually in order to overcome this uh, inefficiency, we can use, we can use the, uh, the mesh control capability in SOLIDWORKS. So here, so this, this is what I did. Uh, you can see the mesh size was really really small like that okay it's one millimeter overall uh, model but um this is not efficient so what I can do is the using mesh control so right click on mesh and then you can see apply mesh control so click here now I can select certain reason to make smaller mesh only that reason okay so click here this notch and then I can uh, see the this mesh size is one millimeter and then click OK so now I can make uh, this one millimeter mesh size only there and then uh, keep the overall mesh size is bigger than that so like uh, the default is two millimeter let me change like that the three millimeter uh, range and then click it and we can make a three millimeter overall mesh size except here so this is one a millimeter let me change a little bit smaller so right click on mesh control and then it'll be finer uh, 0.5 millimeter and then click it and then run create mesh so click it so it gives finer here but I'm still uh, the large size like three millimeter size of element uh, keeps like that okay so let me run it so it gives much faster than you have the one millimeter overall uh, this model over this model okay so this is how you can control the mesh uh, mesh okay and also we can use mesh optimization, so which calls H method or P method. I'm I'm going to go through H method uh, only because uh, I'm not gonna go through in deep in depth. Okay, so uh, let's just uh, suppress this uh, this one. Okay, and then let's go a study here. Right click on that. You can see property here click this one so here is the static uh, property windows and second tab you, you hear adaptive method for meshing uh, you can find it so let me choose the H method and then give 90-90% uh, accuracy and biases just the global and here is the iteration the number of iterations so just leave three and then click OK and then here right click and create mesh and then I just leave this one so which means overall mesh gonna be uh, uh, the 3 millimeter and then go run so it's automatically find where is the sensitive um, to the, the stress and deflection actually stress okay stress gives uh, so it finds some sensitive area and automatically change the size of mesh so let me look at the mesh here so show mesh so it was the overall size was three millimeter but after H method meshing uh, adaptive meshing you can see smaller uh, mesh automatically change the change the mesh size here this is H method the P method is actually the same mesh size but um, it used the higher order term to interpolate it Okay, thank you. And if you have any questions, just let me know.